Hello, fellow gardeners. Well, we're down here at camp. You can see that by looking in the, in the RV here. Uh, got lots of people are texting me and calling. It's planting time over a big portion of the United States, I guess. Uh, you know, some of them up north are just putting greens in. Some of them down south have already got tomatoes and putting peppers in and okra and squash. And so I'm getting a lot of calls about this. So I thought I just need to make a little video so that everybody can refer to it and help them with what they're going to put out. I'm going to start this list. It, 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 it won't be everything you plant, but I'll hit the main things, I hope. You know, in, in the big uh, protein tub, the one that's about a 20 gallon, 25 gallon, maybe you've even bought some at Lowe's or Walmart of the round ones that are a little bit smaller than mine, or maybe you bought the rectangular uh, tubs at Walmart. All of them are about the same, so they all work for the same. This recipe we have will work for all of them, okay? And if you, if you do text uh, my number, 580-564-5909, or if you text Sherry at 580-564-2166, we will send you a paper. Now, I'll text you a paper is what I can do from the camp. If you want a paper copy of this instructions on the fertilizer, then you need to get a hold of Sherry, and she will mail you a paper copy, whether you buy fertilizer or not. Now, let's talk about that fertilizer a little bit. A lot of people are saying, oh, I don't want to buy off you, Leon. i got to pay a little freight. So they go online and they buy two pounds for $25. That's $12.50 a pound. And they got free shipping. Whoopie-doo. You call us. We charge $4 a pound and a little for shipping. So two pounds, that's $8. So you got a long way from that $25 free shipping. So we can help you there. And in most cases, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I haven't seen anybody find a better price than what we have. But anyway, Sherry, we'll send you a paper copy of that fertilizer, no obligations, okay? Now, we're going to get to this tub that we're talking about, whether it's the rectangular one or whether it's this round one. How many tomato plants can you put in it? Well, after you get it full, yes, some people asked yesterday, do you fill the tub plumb full? We do. We fill it up just within an inch of the top, and we put one tomato right in the middle of it. Now, it, you know, that's a determinate tomato. Now, if you're going to use indeterminates, and you're going to tie them up and prune the side suckers off of some of it down at the bottom, then you can put two of them, especially if you're, if you got a rod down the top of a row of these buckets, you can put two in each bucket and prune them some or if you got it setting up the tub setting up on a barrel like one of my videos back in or you know ways back you can put three or four tomatoes and let them hang off the sides but you still got to use determinate or they're going to hit the ground on you before they get ready uh anyway one is all we put in in our tubs i mean because i mean they get huge i mean you got to put a cage around them tie them up do something uh, with it, if you do this fertilizer like we're telling you about, most of the time you have big results. Peppers, we still just put one pepper in the middle. You can put three if you're, I mean, of course our tubs are setting pot tight, remember, in a row. And so we put one right in the middle. Uh, and that pepper pan will still get two foot tall and 18 inches or so across. You can put three in a triangle around the outside edge if you've got them kind of spaced apart, if they're not set in pot tight. But uh, if you've got them set in pot tight, then put two, one on this side and one on that side, and then go down to the next and put on, and you put them on the sides, and you can still get two in and do okay. Uh, if you got them spaced out quite a ways, you know, you can put three in a triangle. But, uh, and it's, it's okay if you don't have as many tubs. You know, we got hundreds of tubs, so it's not kind of, Two different deals. Okra. Now, you can put one okra in the middle of it, and I've seen the stalk get three inches in diameter. Huge, like a tree. Or you can put three in a triangle, 
and it still makes a huge monster. You can't have them pot tight and put three. I mean, it just makes a jungle. Now, some people call me, and I tell them they can put up to seven if they got it out by itself. Put six around the outside and one in the middle. You got to do a lot of pruning. Just kind of keep the straight up a going and not let them old big leaves just get everywhere because you're going to have a, a mess that's five or six foot across. I mean, it, it gets huge. So one is what I do, you know, to make big. But you can put three. Or you can put the seven and prune. Squash. In ours, one squash will fill that tub. A bush yellow squash or something like that. Uh, you can put two, one on each side, if you're putting them, you know, down the row that way. Two in the next one. Don't put them long ways because then these two are touching and the next two is touching. Uh, cucumbers. You can put three if you're just going to let them hang out on the ground and grow everywhere or set them up on the tub and let them hang over. You can put three cucumbers in there. We usually, because we got a rod at the top, so we're going to set, we're going to put two right down the middle of the tub. Two in this tub, two in that tub, two in the next tub. And we're going to tie them up or trellis them up on a trellis. Huh? Don't make this real long. Anyway, uh, I get too long-winded to get to talking. Uh, sweet potatoes, you can put six or seven in there and let them grow on the ground or run them up a trellis. And same thing with Irish potatoes, you know, uh, Six or seven starts in there, around in it, and one in the middle, six around outside, and one in the middle. I just like a seven, which is a perfect number, and uh, then you dig your potatoes. Now, we always dig them when they're <clears throat> pretty small, because we like to put them with green beans. Uh, if you're going to let them go get big, then I would dig every other potato plant and take the little potatoes off of them, use them in your green beans, and put your dirt back and let the others grow bigger. That's what I would do. Onions, you can put about 25. Lettuce, you can put about seven. Six right outside, one in the middle. Spinach, the same way, seven. Kale, about seven. Broccoli, about three. Cauliflower, about three. Cabbage, about three. Now, if you want to grow a big cabbage, put one right in the middle. I've had a little nine-year-old girl. I, I could show you a picture. If you want to see a picture, you text me. I will send you a picture and show you this little girl, nine years old, growing a 40-inch cabbage in one tub. No holes in it. The worms didn't need to even meet the holes in it. Anyway, green beans, about three. I'm sure there's other things you want to grow. That'll This will help you a little bit without everybody having to text me. It's, get, it's getting pretty, pretty many, we're getting pretty many calls, getting quite a few calls lately or texts about how many they can put in. I know you don't want to go back and watch the whole 200 videos to find out about this, so I understand the situation. That's the reason I come back in. If some of you folks have been doing it for a long time, this is probably boring to you, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm trying to help these newcomers. They need to know how to garden, too, because things are getting worse. It ain't, they're not getting better. Things are getting worse about the availability of food. All righty. If you like this video, punch the button, ring the bell. Y'all, please, please subscribe. That helps us with the kiddos, and we'll thank you for it.